it's really more to me it's like more about the lyrics of the songs and the songwriting thing is like a blank canvas isn't it yeah. so no no there's no right or wrong that saying as well if not now when it's like when yeah when you what are you, what waiting, are you waiting for exactly what are you waiting for yeah. just get up go and do it Hi, my name is Nicole and I am here with Giles Paley Phillips, my co-host for today's Local and Live Takeover with The Big Chat. And we've had a whopper of a day and we are on chat number four. Number four? But we save the best till last. We really have. So, liking to introduce you today to Jason. Jason, how are you? Jason. Sorry, I can't hear you. <laughs> <laughs> how are you? I'm very good, thank you. Yes, I'm uh, I'm, su- I'm very good because I've just come off stage and played a nice set with my band, Soda Prism. Um, and great to be here, local and live. Um, you guys do a great job. And fantastic that live music's back and everything seems to be picking up again. So, yeah, yeah can't complain, really. And the weather's been good, so... Yeah, it's, well, the, the, the rain stayed off because I thought it might rain earlier. It was a bit yeah. dark, but it's actually quite nice because people aren't... It's not too hot. People aren't kind of diving under trees. You've got people no, actually I, to I sit, able check, to sit out. I kept checking the forecast and it was, um, you know, a little bit here and a little bit there, mm. but the rain, but it didn't seem to... Uh, it seemed to go away, didn't it? It stayed nice. off, hasn't it? Yeah. And you're also one of the sponsors today, which is pretty amazing because being yes. the event organiser myself can't do these events without support no no absolutely so thank you for that do you want no, to tell that's us a, a bit pleasure. about that and it's uh, a pleasure to sponsor local and live um been talking to paul for a while um and it's just such a i don't like saying no-brainer because it's a bit cheesy but yeah we're a string manufacturing company 15 miles up the road uh you're our most local and biggest music scene i guess to seven oaks and I'm a musician, so I want to promote my band. I want to promote our product, our guitar strings, and um, help the local music scene. So it's what well, isn't there to, to work on that, you know. So A few people might have heard of your company. Yeah. What's the name? What's it called? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's called Rotor Sound, <laughs> as in hold your group together with Rotor Sound strings, yeah. which um, when John Entwistle from The Who visited my dad in 1965... Um, my dad made him some special strings. He went on tour with The Who. And um, my dad said to John Entwistle, can I use your band's name to say you're using Rotor Sound Strings? And John Entwistle said, yeah, that's no problem, but I want 100 sets for nothing. <laughs> my dad said, you can have 100 sets. And it was like the first endorsement of a rock mm. band pretty much in the music industry. You know, my dad wow. started at a time when the British music scene, he started in Bexley Heath. Yeah. So it was a really good timing, yeah. So how, how did he get into making manufacturing strings? How long you got? Um, well, <laughs> well, just quickly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. This episode. Simply, <laughs> my dad was a violinist and right. he played the zither, which is an Austrian instrument, a bit like about the size of that table. And it's got lots of strings on it. And he went to see a film in the early 1950s called The Third Man, featuring a... Yes. Brilliant film. Movie. Yeah, yeah. Awesome Wells. Awesome Wells. Harris. Yeah, Orson awesome Wells. Orson awesome Wells, yes. It's a great film, and the theme music for that is the Harry Lyme theme, yes. which goes da 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 da, yeah. played on a zither, because the film's set in Vienna. So he went to see that film, he loved that instrument, and he thought, I've got to buy one. So he searched for one, bought one, and he started breaking strings on it. Bugger's a tune, I should imagine. Sorry? A bugger's a tune, I should imagine. Well, yeah, I mean, very <laughs> complex to yeah. play. Um, guitar's easy compared to that. Yeah. But So he broke strings on it, and what he did he couldn't buy strings he just bought other zithers and after collecting about a hundred wow he started to think maybe I should start making (laughs) strings because then I could put strings on all the zithers and sell them and that's how the the company started amazing late 1950s that was that is amazing incredible because yeah I mean like so what happened to the hundred zithers (laughs) I've still got about 20 of them have you (laughs) yeah yeah I still got some in the factory amazing Uh, and some violins and stuff yeah so he was a musician and an engineer, and um, with the engineering, he started building the machines that make the strings. And I actually now build the machines that make the strings now, so I've kind of carried on that tradition of engineering um, with the company. It's That's in amazing. the blood. Yeah, yeah. And how long have you been playing music? I mean, yeah. That, oh, yeah, well, since, thing? since I was like 15, but I playing the guitar, but I grew up 
my, both my parents were musical and um, I, I was never going to start learning to play the zither in 1980. <laughs> no. <you know. laughs> it was like... He was like, I was more into the buzzcocks than the jam, you know. Yeah, yeah. But, um, so, um, yeah, I started playing guitar when I was 15, so 1980, so yeah, a long time ago. But, um, yeah, it's only the last few years I've really sort of tried to push my music because the company's running very nicely, so I can just take a bit of a backseat and enjoy doing other stuff apart from working all the time, you know. Yeah, so have you always performed, though? Have you always performed all these Yeah, years? I mean, I, I did, but I never really sung because I, never, I was never really a confident singer. And about five years ago, a friend of mine was like, we should form a band, you've got some really good songs. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't really want to sing. I don't feel it's my thing, you know. But we started doing some gigs and it seemed to go okay. I'm playing tonight, by the way, at the Flower Pot in Maidstone. Can I Excellent. say that? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> Solo gig. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so at the moment, we just... The band are trying to get as many gigs as, as we can. James and Julie run Music Station in Tunbridge, the music school. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So James is our drummer, Julie plays keyboards um, and bass keyboards. So, yeah, just trying to get out and play like everybody. Catch up on 18 months of uh, Absolutely. not being able to play. Yeah. And you enjoy singing now? Yeah, I love it now. Yeah, <laughs> so, you know, after about 30 years, I finally can sing in tune, I think. So, yeah. No, I do. I, I do enjoy it. And um, it's really more to me, it's like more about the lyrics of the songs mm -hmm. and this, what you're saying and, and the vocals. It's, you know, I don't try not to just use lyrics as something just to add in at, at the sure. end. Mm. You know, I'm not, I'm hardly Bob Dylan, but I think, you know, to have a meaning, to have meaning to what you're singing. You're feeling is, it. It's important, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. What? taken away with the moment now huh? <laughs> <laughs> what's your what's your what what are your kind of favorite things to i mean what's your favorite sort of music what what's my inspired, favorite what's inspired you musically what musically yeah i like I mean, a lot the of jam um, and stuff like that but what else sorry? you mentioned the jam and yeah stuff like no that, actually i really like now i like um a lot of 60s psychedelic music i've actually got another band called the next agenda which is more garage rock and punk right yeah yeah but it probably wouldn't be the ideal band for here um, so yeah a lot of 60s psychedelia a lot of punk music but a lot of uh, acoustic stuff as well um, I love Neil Young um, amazing yeah I love early Pink Floyd Sid Barrett um, but, you know lo loads of good stuff um, it's hard to, you know with music I, there's so much you can take from all genres yeah um, it's a bit I guess narrow minded to say I just like that or I just mm. like this but well, yeah, funny enough, it's been a bit of a um, a theme for all the conversations we've yeah. had today about how our audiences are more savvy now to different types of genre, and you know we're very lucky in this day and age. You know, with streaming and stuff, we're able to get discover hold of, stuff, discover yeah. stuff that yeah. we might yeah. not have normally got into. We used to be much more in our little pigeonholes of stuff. You know, I'm really into rock music, but I love yeah. all sorts of different yeah. types of music. So yeah. it's, much, it's much easier now. And actually, you can experiment more now with music. Yeah, I mean, it's almost, you could say there's like too much choice. It's yeah. like, yeah, yeah. you know, um, but, you know, you just got to pick out what appeals to you. Yeah, you still know what you, you still know what resonates. Yeah. And you still feel what yeah. you feel when you listen yeah. to music, don't you? So. Yeah, I mean, there's certain types of music I'm not, I'm not a fan of, you know, but uh, that's, it's a personal thing, isn't it? Yeah. It's very subjective. Yeah. Um, so you mentioned Sid Barrett. So are you into sort of early Pink Floyd? Yeah. Yeah, I'm very much into yeah. early Floyd. I'm into a lot of um, weird uh, psychedelic bands, the 13th Floor Elevators, um, bands like um, the Merry Go Round, the Millennium. Um, a lot of bands that never really made it, but when you dig deep and you look at their history and some of the great albums they produced, the Mandrake Memorial, you know, um, loads of stuff that people kind of look at you and they just think, oh, he's weird, you know. <laughs> no, they're but brilliant I, names. But, but I guess yeah. a lot of those groups sort of became kind of prog rocky. I mean, even early Genesis with Peter yeah. Gabriel was quite pro proggy, yeah. but it was had a lot of that psychedelic yeah. kind of. Thing. Yeah, I love bands like Caravan, the British, yeah, yeah. British band from Canterbury. Yeah, I know Richard Sinclair, the uh, bass player with Ca uh, Caravan. Um, I'm trying to get us a support slot. They're playing later in the year. Okay, great. Um, but yeah, that English, um, that sort of honest English sound, I, I really like. And I love Sid Barrett because yeah. the way he announced the way he pronounced what he was singing 
he wasn't trying to be anything but a guy from Cambridge. Yeah. And it's just, it's authentic. It's really authentic. It's a bit like those blues players, that, you know, in the States. Yeah, it's interesting you should say that because I think in the UK, we've moved away from that a lot, actually. And actually, if you look at American bands, they are very much rich yeah. in their culture. Whereas we don't seem to have had as much of that in more recent years. Yeah, we tend, I think we tend to diss it a lot. We kind of, um, um, which I don't think is fair. I mean, the first song we play today is called To the Garden of England. And it's like, you know, well, I come from Sidcup, you know, I, yeah. I live in Kent, you know. Yeah. I'm not going to sing about Louisiana swamps. No, you know? no. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know anything about them, yeah. you know. But no, I just like writing what, what, is, what is all around us. Mm. And is, I think, you know, just as great as in in other places. You know? Yeah. So. Well, it's funny enough, I was thinking like the punk scene was definitely a, t- a period where we wore kind of, you know. DIY. Like, yeah, exactly. It was DIY. Yeah, yeah we yeah. bought hugely, yeah. Yeah, it's like, it's the whole like guitar thing and amp thing. I mean, you know, I don't like, I like kind of unbranded guitars because I just, I don't want to, fa- it's like, I'm happy doing that because I just want something a bit kind of, um, I don't know, just be a bit different, really. Like the punk, yeah, thing was. So, what, so yeah. talking to guitars, what do you what do you play? What, what? a load of unbranded unbranded guitars. guitars. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I mean I'm lucky because of, in Rotor Sound we have a lot of really nice instruments, sure, um, which I can use. But um, there's a few that I like that I've you know we've actually got a really nice Les Paul, which is a sick a nice. 70s Les Paul. Beautiful, yeah. But yeah. I'm not really. Um, I'm not actually that knowledgeable about them, although you'd think I would be. Yeah. But, so, you know, but I like things like um, SGs. Yeah. I like Telecasters. I never really liked Strats because I don't like, it's just sound too twangy. Yeah, they're a bit um, noisy as well, I think. Yeah. But what well, this gets super geeky. What kind yeah. of gauge strings do you use? Oh, what it's just in heaven. <laughs> Giles is in heaven. I know he's this. had no alcohol. He doesn't drink. I know this. Geek this sounds heaven. terrible. Honestly, what gauge strings do I use? He's taken over the big chat just to talk about. Yeah. Well, no, but this is, well, this is my own all for his, He's got a little I, notepad here. Yeah, should, right? I, should I be really honest with you? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Whisper, <laughs> whisper. I don't know. No. I tend to use stuff that we discard oh really okay, i will use stuff that that's recycling that's yeah perfect. absolutely i mean I'll ju- i mean i've got you know obviously got boxes of strings at home yeah having a string company but i tend to you know i'll just take stuff that i put actually i put a set on my acoustic the other day that are about 12 years old right yeah. okay great I think the top strings are a bit pitted but i'm yeah. like well, sometimes I think if you put a new set on, they're quite bright. Yeah. They can yeah. sound too bright yeah. sometimes. Yeah. So, yeah. But we do do a fantastic range of uh, electric guitars. <laughs> I, know you, I know you do. Um, and you can just see below in the yeah. title. Yeah, go to... <laughs> <laughs> we'll make no. sure we put so, it So, um, yeah, just like the punk ethic and yeah. the, the DIY thing um, and songwriting, really. I'm more... I'm not much of a guitar player, but I like the songwriting side of it. You know. What yeah. inspires you to write? So, so you said you oh, like, I mean, s- everything. Psychedelic, yeah. Prism. I'm getting a yeah, kind I'll, of vibe well, here with you. But it what, is, yeah, so, what is your inspiration when you write it, songs? You know what? It comes from absolutely Does it everywhere. Just drops. <laughs> I mean, we did a song on there earlier called South Downs Bus Depot. Yeah. And it's like it's a saying that my wife has. Strange enough, my wife's from South Africa, but. She's always had this saying when she first moved here, she moved to Eastbourne. And if, if her office is really crowded, she'll say it's like the South Downs bus depot in here. <laughs> Brilliant. And I'm like, oh, I've got to Google that because it must be a, a saying like from the South. I Googled it. I couldn't find anything. So I just thought, well, it's a good song title. You yeah. Know? You can make that up, make something up out of it. So. Yeah, well, you're creating stories and, and yeah. things, aren't you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. The songwriting thing is like a blank canvas, isn't it? Yeah. So no, no, there's no right or wrong. No one's going to go, well, that wasn't right, you know, because they don't know what you were trying to yeah, absolutely. get over. You know. well, it's art. It's yeah, art. exactly. It it's is art. Great thing about it. It's, it's free, isn't it? Yeah. And I think something like Local and Live, where you've just got a massive expression of so many different people. Yeah, arts, absolutely. Because yeah. everyone's very different. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's... Um, I've, I've never done this this uh, before, so it's our first time, but uh, or my first time. I think James, our drummer, and Julie have. The first time is Soda Prism. So it was great having a really big, wide audience and 
obviously young kids out there, you know, yeah. right the way through. Yeah. Really enjoyable. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's great to see so many young families and families, stuff. Actually, yeah, yeah. And I think for yeah. young children, great to expose them to live music. Mm. Absolutely, it's a wonderful thing. You know? And it's um, you know, what, the way it's all laid out, like it says on the advertising, it's very family friendly. You know, so it really is. It's been yeah. I think and and also I, what I love is about Paul being so personal because he's on the stage and he's talking to everyone. Yep. And, Everyone feels like they know Paul. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you know, and yeah. It's, so much goes on behind the scenes, as we know, and you as a sponsor, and it's amazing that he puts this on. It's phenomenal, but yeah, it's also yeah, it just makes it feel really relaxed, which is a cool thing, I think. Yeah, yeah. I, I wasn't feeling, um, you know, with gigs. I guess you sometimes feel a little bit of anxiety when you go on, but it was all felt very comfortable today. I must say. No. So what's what's the future? Of- Live for you? Are you d- going to be doing more performances? Are you going to yeah. do any recording? What's what's? Well, I've I've got know. like, I've got five or six albums on iTunes under my own name, right? But you know what? I've I spent I and mean, I'm really proud of those albums, and I could play them anywhere, and I'm, I like them, really like them. And how do we find those quickly? <laughs> so <laughs> how do we find those? Well, it's just under my name, Jason Howe. Jason it's Howe. H O W without an E. Okay. Right, okay yeah. Jason How do you do? So if you go to iTunes and type in my name, that will come up. Cool. But you know what? I've spent the last seven or eight years just doing that, recording at home, getting a friend of mine to do the drumming, and they, they sound great. But I'm just bored with that format of, I want to get out and play the songs live. Sure. That's really what I want to do. So the recording side is probably going to take a bit of a backseat. Sure, yeah, yeah. And we're going to try and do more live stuff, you know. So. Is that the thing you like the most, the live performance? Yeah, I do, really. Yeah. I mean, that's that, yeah. Now I've got my confidence I never had, so... Yeah, it's funny, isn't it? How we spend half our life sort of worrying, worrying about and then stuff, the other half living. <laughs> yeah, it's like all those years Mid-life ago. Midlife breakthrough. Yeah, it's a, <laughs> I don't know if it's an age thing. Where you know, in my case, it might just be like, um, well, I don't really care what anybody thinks. I'm just going to do it. You know, but so. isn't that liberating? Yeah, it is. And also, <laughs> it's that um, that saying as well. If not now, when? It's like when? Yeah. When he. What are you what waiting are you wait- for? Exactly. What are you waiting for? Yeah. Just get up, get up and do it. You Just know. jump. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And, and not worry about, I mean, often we worry about consequences to things, don't we? But actually yeah. enjoying the thing yeah. and being out there and enjoying exactly. it. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And also I think that like, I mean, we had some guests like on earlier, the, the act that came on and they were like 12 and 13 and 14 and they were saying, well, we're a little bit anxious, but we weren't, they were pretty But they got stoic. up there and did it, didn't and they? They got so up they... and did it. And Fantastic. So I think, I don't know it feels to me like we're embracing people to be more just go yeah, do yeah. what you need exactly. to do yeah. just just more confidence yeah, yeah exactly you know yeah. and that that's not that doesn't always come without complications but it means that yeah it's better to be that way than the other way isn't it too inhibited i think you know yeah. be confident and yeah do and your thing you know and just enjoy yourself yeah exactly yeah so are we going to see you on again later? Is that it for today? We g- I think I've got to shoot <laughs> fairly soon because I've got this gig You've tonight. Got gig. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. But yeah. I don't even know what the time is. We're about five o'clock, isn't it? I guess. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we're coming up to that. So yeah. yeah. So two gigs in one day. Is that the most you've done? Well, you know what? Last Friday, we pl- I played at the Grey Lady. I did a solo slot there for Paul. And then at quarter to nine, we played at Riverwalk Music by the Castle in Tunbridge. <laughs> So I like I did this half an hour solo slot, and then I had to I had like twenty minutes to get to. <laughs> so no, today is slightly more relaxed than last Friday. So yeah, that was m- mad last week. Yeah, okay. today's not too bad, and I'm not too bothered about tonight. Is put my guitar on my back and just go and do some songs. So. That's wonderful, though. It's yeah. wonderful to be able to do that. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's been it's been such a pleasure. Absolutely, to talk it's to you. a pleasure really talking has. to you both. Thank, thank you so much for coming yeah. on and talking to us. And, yeah, uh, and thank you for supporting this no, festival. Absolutely. Honestly, I, you know all the great. I've seen all this, the screen up there. It's huge, isn't it? It's great. It's brilliant. Yeah, it's a wonderful thing. To, yeah, and to showcase local talent and you know yeah. give give people a chance to perform. No, it's great. All really, really good. We'll see you next what can year. Can I say? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, if he asks us back. I hope he does. <laughs> I think he might. Yeah. Well, it's really nice talking to both yeah, of you. Yeah, thank you so much for your time. Thank yeah, you. Yeah, cool.